Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So today I'm going to be tying the pheasant tail. This is McFly Angler. starts now. These are really good flies for pretty much any nymphing. I mean they're they're just a really good staple fly. So the hook today I'm using, I'm tying a size 12. It's a little large usually from what I tie but it's a little easier to see in the camera. So uh, this is the Risen Fly 9231 tying a size 12. And the thread is Vivas Tenot, okay, in brown. And you know, I was looking through and I was, I was trying to find some flies that I hadn't done this longer, more detailed version of my tying videos. Where I'm talking at the camera and explaining more. And I hadn't done a pheasant tail, which is weird because these are definitely one of the more popular flies ever created. So I'm coming back, uh, you know, you don't have to start all the way at the front, just somewhere back a little bit. Um, go all the way to the back. You can see I just um, I flattened out the thread. And then we're going to take a pheasant tail, hence the name of the fly. Okay, and you don't want these little like, little squirrely ones at the end because they're just not long enough. You want to go up a little bit. Just kind of these are almost not good for anything. You can rip those off and you know just a few inches up from the bottom of the stem. And then I want to grab these. So what we're going to do? Let's see if I can do this on camera. You want to align these tips. It's really hard to do when it's not on here. So as you can see, when I stroke these out, those tips get aligned. Okay, and then you can just grab tight. As long as you hold them tight, you can rip them right off, and those tips are aligned. So we want about a half of a hook shank length for the tail. Okay, and we're going to do a pinch wrap. So that's one, make that pretty tight, okay? We're gonna go back one behind it, make another pinch wrap. We're gonna pull this up. We're gonna come up. We're gonna go all the way up to about a third of the way down, okay? Next, we're gonna need to pull off a little bit of uh, wire. And I'm actually using copper. A lot of people use gold, but I like the look of the copper on this as brassy size for this size fly. If you were going much smaller, it might work for a 14. If you're going with like a 16, definitely want to go with the small size. And let's get this back and out of the way. And we are going to tie this in right at the tip here. Okay. Pull that back and out of the way. And then we're just going to bring this back. And there's there's a couple ways of doing this. So you could actually just tie in that tail, cut this off, and then retie that in, or tie another piece. But you know, I started doing this when I had really small flies um, because I didn't want to bulk up, and yeah, I like it. It works well. So anyway, so I'm going back, and as you can see, I skipped over it, and I put two wraps right there to hold that wire in tight. And then pull this back. Let's go forward again. What we're doing, the reason why we go all the way up and then back down is we're building a, a taper here. Because if you do that, you just have like a bulge on the back. It's not going to have a nice even taper, okay? Then we're going to go back down again. You know, we're just building that taper. You know, most of the way down, but not all the way. Okay, what oh, happened there? All right, back down one more time here. Not, you know, a little, a little less than all the way down, and then we'll go back up. And that, you can see, built a little bit of a taper. Now, this is uh, fragile stuff. 
So I paint a little bit of super glue on here. And you want to take these and you want to kind of stroke them out a little bit. You want to try to keep them from twisting too much. Give it a nice even wrap. As you get up a little further, you know, you could put put your finger there to kind of hold it to make sure it doesn't unravel. Or you could use some um, uh, hackle pliers if you wanted. All right. So as you can see, I'm holding it there. I'm just going to go, oh, I'm going to twist that thread. Oh, having some of this unravel on me. There we go. And then I'm going to try to come up under it like so. Oh, oh, oh. Well, guys, I kind of butchered that up, didn't I? Make sure everything's captured properly. Kind of hard to see in the camera lens, I'm going to be honest. It's one of the worst uh, <laughs> I've ever done, but that's okay. This is still going to work out. I think it's good to see the issues there. So if you go too far up, you know, obviously there's not a lot of room to play with. Usually I can kind of get it. Um, that's okay. Most of this is actually going to end up being covered. Kind of worked out, actually. Not too bad. All right, so if we were going to wrap the wire, you know, the same direction, um, then that wouldn't really hold everything in. You want to kind of go the opposite. So now we're just going to wrap the wire up. Try to make touching, or sorry, even wraps not touching, you want an open spiral, kind of create a rib. And tricky thing is this is going to want to kind of move on you. So make a wrap over it and then front and then back over it again and then work it up like so. And you can pull it back like this, make a few wraps on top of it. And then that's going to lock it into place. And now you can hold your thread tight. and helicopter this off. All right, so you want to kind of make sure you're you're at about the third of the way down roughly. And then we are going to take a turkey tail. By the way, all all these materials will be in the description section of the video. I always list all my materials. And uh both from either Risen Fly or The Fly Artist is where I get all my stuff. So I'll have links to each one of these materials for you. Makes it easy for you. So we're going to strip out. You can see this, you know, about that thick of a piece here. Maybe about a little less than the thickness of the gap. Okay. Hook gap. Maybe about the same as the hook gap thickness. And we're stroking it out to kind of align those tips. And this doesn't strip off very well, so I actually cut it. All right, so the stuff stays together pretty well. Okay, and you can see there's a shiny and a dull side. Okay, there's the dull side. And you want the shiny side up, so we're going to tie it in with the dull side down, actually. Make sure everything's flat. We're going to Lay this directly on top. Cut that off. It looks a little messy right now, but that'll be covered up in just a second. So next, we have two peacock hurls, and we're just going to cut those fragile tips off. 
because we're not going to need the whole thing and might as well make this nice and strong. Oop. Tie that back. Okay. And again, like I said, you want to, might be helpful, especially when you first start to kind of pull these up and see how long that wing case is going to be. Okay, and if you want, you can always work all this back to bring that wing case back a little further if you want, which I will. I like a pretty long wing case. All right. So next, we're just going to start wrapping this hurl. So I went over it and then back that way, made a couple wraps over it that way and I can just kind of rip that right off. Makes for a clean and quick, don't have to get the scissors out. So next I've got this, it's a whiting hen hackle, but really any hen, um, this is a cape actually, okay, as you can see. Any hen cape should work, uh, black, brown, I like brown. Um, so these feathers are a little longer, which I like, as you can see I've already tied one with it. I've got quite a bit more feather to work with. And you've got a V in the top there. Okay, so we're gonna measure that out and see where it goes to. And then we're gonna strip off. And I'll show you in a second what that looks like. Like so. I'm gonna lay that directly on top. And we need a little bit more because that's you don't want any of those fibers sticking there because they'll get trapped and look funky. So right there. Place your finger right on top. Capture it and we can adjust this in just a second. Make three, you don't want to go too tight. Rather loose actually. Let's retie that in. I don't know what happened there. Never hurts to try it a second time. If you're not happy with the outcome. Oh. Thread kind of did something weird there. Right, let me adjust this back a little bit because it was falling forward. All right, so. Try one more time, directly on top. Make three loose wraps, there we go, it came out right. And then we can pull this up over. Come over the top with that, like so. And then we can take this, we can pull these back to get the length that we're looking for. Okay, we can pull everything rearward and then now we can tie back up on top of this material a little bit. Let's go ahead and cut this off. Form a little head. And now, four or five turn whip finish. There we go. Now, just for the final, I really like to do something different. So, this is Solares ultra thin. Okay, we're going to paint a little on top and also over the wing case here. And what that's going to do is that's going to soak in. 
Going to make sure that those legs stay put right where you wanted them. We'll cure that with the, with the light. And there we go, that is done. And that leaves that a kind of drier um, wing case finish, okay? Now if you wanted to do a second coat, you could. I'll show you what that looks like. Pretty cool looking actually. You can see that kind of gives it a, beefs up that, that wing case a little bit, gives it, you know, a little shinier look. So if you want that look, you could do a second coat of it. And it'll come out looking really nice, but up to you, however you want to do it. But there we go, that is the finished print snip. Now I'm a little sideways as you can see, I actually tied this in not directly on top. It's hard to, see that's why you want to make sure that this is over, it's directly on top when you look at it. But I was looking through my, my uh, camera lens. It's hard to really do this like that, but you know, uh, you get the idea on it. So there is the finished pheasant tail and yeah, you know, it was a really good fly, guys. I mean, it is a staple on pretty much most nymphing uh, boxes. I mean, I, I don't know a fly fisherman that hasn't used these and doesn't regularly use them. They are really good for mimicking uh, mayflies. Um, even some people tie them with a little bit different colors to mimic some caddis and stuff, but really mayflies mean um, they're just really good flies. So if you guys haven't already, check out Risen Fly. They are my sponsor, and I am just really happy to be working with them. They make amazing stuff. I mean, these hooks, such a good deal for the hook. The 9231s are really good. They're a 2X long, by the way. I hadn't mentioned this before. I like a 2X long with my with uh, my pheasant tails. Now, if I was going to add a bead, I would actually go with even longer, if you can find a 3 or a 4X long. Uh, with a bead, um, but I do like these. Now you could tie them shorter, but then it's, you know, the abdomen's gonna be a little short, everything's gonna be more, you know, compact, so up to you. Uh, they make some really good stuff. I really like their, I mean, for the price, these are, you get 25 in here, and I mean, they end up being some of the best prices possible, and, and they're really strong, really sharp hooks. Everything they make, though, they sell rods and reels and, you know, pretty much anything you need to fly fish. Uh, they sell a lot of fly tying gear, as well but not everything okay so not only them do i work work with um, oh by the way you get a discount with them type in mcfly at checkout and you'll get 15 percent off of anything you buy at risen now on top of that i also link below to all the materials i used um, so if risen doesn't carry it for instance i believe they you know there's some things that they don't carry that they don't manufacture themselves um, so if you want to go with name brand materials i link to the fly artist and that's below so you can click all those links below it'll take you right to the product that I used um, and uh, both for both risen and and uh, the fly artist so definitely check both of them out well anyway I will see you guys on the next video now you go catch some fish